Welcome back, Snug. Hello, baby Schmep. I should be cautious around here. You. Me? So many people in this fucking area. No score. Oh. Alright, we yoinked that guy. Fuck, now they're all gonna come investigate. I have no arrows, I just realized that. Give me that shit. Oh, but he fell and died. All right. Damn, there's a lot of people here. And I can't jump that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm a Viking. I don't, I don't give a damn. You want some too? Guess what? Damn, that didn't kill you. Chop your arm off. Hmm. 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 Won't survive, fool. I'm here for the treasure. I wonder if I can like break this and climb out this window. Oh, that that is so sick. I really appreciated that, honestly. I got the key. It's actually really fucking cool that you can just break the window like that and go in. Alright. Collect all this shit. Shout out to Schmidt. Letter from Wigmund. Father Cuthbert, I want to thank you for your continued support. I must say I am charmed by your pupils. They are endowed with an obedience that I suspect can only be attributed to your wisdom and guidance. Please continue sending them my way. It pleases me to speak with such spry young men eager to learn about the order of the ancients. There is much for them to gain and they are welcome to follow the great cause of Wigmund. So Wigmund is also in Vikings. Oh spoiler alert. Incendiary powder trap. That actually sounds sick as fuck. And 
targets for my bow. Attaches a small pouch to your arrow that spreads a volatile powder that wherever the arrow strikes any nearby movement causes causes the powder to burst into flames. Oh uh, yes. That's actually awesome. I like that I can jump off at any time. I believe this is my horse. Just patiently awaiting me. Okay, so... Let's just go back to the ship. Oh, we can fast travel. But you know what? I don't like fast traveling. I like seeing this gorgeous beautiful land hmm. alright we're going in the direction the right direction that's all that mattered isn't it okay but like you see what I mean though like there's a cloud above us so there's no sun here but there's sun over there I, I just you know shout out to Ubisoft I don't know why people didn't like this game I think this, this is a very well made game This is real quick. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that, but that was sick. I don't really know what that does. Oh, I set myself on fire. successful raid I would say how do I fucking put my bow away yeah, why is this song so green okay so I'm actually pretty sure I might have like Hit some floor. What's wrong with you? Okay, okay, we can back up. What do you think you're doing? 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Loot. I'm a little turned around right now. Okay, our camp's this way. Well, let's get this. Oh, that's cool. When you zoom in, it gives you a 3D little thing. Flying paper, rigs, rigosaur, rigsogar fragments. I don't know what either of those things are. Hmm. Ubisoft baby. Oh, we could have done a drinking thing. I didn't see that was there. Alright, well. I'm getting a little sleepy, so I'll probably for like 20 more minutes. As you know, I got a long day tomorrow. Drop the mask. Let's look at these two dudes just holding up this. The, the fucking mass. That's sick as fuck how it like lapses and and shit. This little boat is in the fucking way. Are you feeling all right? <laughs> all right, we are going to. use baby yeah so doesn't it So the whole point of doing that, like, look at the fucking sea grass. Even the sea grass, and, and how like the light is like going through the water. So the whole point of that is that like reveals. <gasps> the area. I mean, we could go for that. What is this symbol? Let's see. I think it's supposed to be a traitor. I'm not sure. If this is a traitor, we don't care about that. What does that symbol mean? After watching Vikings, I can see how this literally looks like it. I mean, I'm telling you, like... 
you don't even know. Like, you, there's the Auroras. I mean, fucking Ragnar is in Vikings. Ragnar's in this game. Or he's not in this game because he, he's dead. But, like, you know, they talk about Ragnar. Um, I'm not really too sure what this symbol means. It doesn't even, like, show what it means. Unless if I'm just, like, being blind right now, I don't see it. Alright, well... Whatever. Alright, so we have to go. Can we read this? Hmm. I definitely can't do that. Here, let's just go back. I think we gotta go this way. Right? Up the river. Yeah. Sail out! Big loop! Sing, my ravens. By the way, Ragnar's clan is the Raven Clan. Or his. I don't know if his clan's called the Raven Clan, but his symbol is the Raven. Of course. You know, we got the Raven. We the Raven Clan. Rep the Raven. Ravenclaw, baby. They look like Ravenclaws. They blue. A few yarls, a handful of kings by name. But to my knowledge, Ain't nobody want to be a Ravenclaw, though. Or a fucking Hufflepuff. You rather want to be a Gryffindor or a Slytherin. Dognith is on, I told him. The skull's eyes went wide. Dognith is on, he exclaimed. Of Thornburg? I'm about to crash. Oh. The very man I am. The poor skull sung to the skies with joy. You are a legend among legends, he said. Let me compose a verse for you, if I may. Imagine my surprise at hearing such praise. Dock the but ship here. I agree. Save it for later. <laughs> It's raining. Gotta cover my bald head. Ooh, what is this? Decorative element? Oh! Stonewall? Ooh! Cool. Cool. What about this one? Is this the same thing? Alright, we'll put an archery target here. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Alright, so we have to build our clan up from the ground up, basically. Which honestly, I already kind of forgot how to do it. I think we're supposed to look at this. Rex, here I just will help you create Yom's Viking. Recruit other. Players, Yom's Viking and Manager Crew. 
Huh. For 400 materials. Can purchase items. What do you think will be more useful? With Rowan, you can acquire and manage your horses and your raven. I'm thinking like either the barracks. Or the merchant. Stop running already. More decorative elements. Woohoo! Hangman tree. Hey, a little creepier, but you know, we a creepy clan. Ah, it's Avar. Come in from the slaughter. You know me. Just got back from pillaging. I saw the. Okay, I think we talked to this guy. Hello? Tell me about what you do here. If you want to deal with your raiders, you come through me. I'll make sure they're ready for you and keep them in fighting shape. You need to build some barracks, otherwise, these raiders are going to get soft, and we can't have that. <coughs> I'm off. Well, friend. Definitely need Fight well. uh, a strong army. How do I improve it though? Survey the area, Susan. Oh. Sorry. Do I go in here? how to do it <laughs> don't go to bed I'm gonna get a bit soon. Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to talk to you, aren't I? Ithem, now that you and Basil are settled, what will you do? We I have am work here, to do. Starting in the cities of England, London, Jordvik, Winchester, Bed? all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Okay, so we gotta do that. Okay, we have a lot of resources. We go get this tower running.
This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranmi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? Hi, Thum. I low-key think you're still kind of a piece of shit, on. but whatever. Heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basil. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. But still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. And I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap. We are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. Thank you, this shit is kind of dumb. You know how to do the fucking leap of faith, man. Who do you think we are, man? This is why I don't fucking like you, I think. Mm, that scene though. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. Che. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but. Uh... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! 
have seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. Alright, fuck it. spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Basim has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randry about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Adam. For all of this. Order of the Ancients. The Order of the Ancients is a secret society of pagans that has infiltrated every level of society to spread their dogmatic worldview. To root them out, clues can be found across the world. Zealots. Zealots are hired mercenaries that assist the Order and enforce their decrees. Finding and eliminating them will provide clues on the identity of Order members. So I think I'm just going to try and see if I can improve the racks because we have a lot of supplies, definitely more than enough to go around. Hmm. Good day. Ah, uh, here it is.
recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Alright. I'm probably gonna stop here. I don't know if you're still awake or not, but... Good night, Loosh, my baby. Sweet dreams. Wake up tomorrow. I love you very much.